What if the American people learn the truth? That our foreign policy has nothing to do with national security. That it never changes from one administration to the next. And this is Republic Theory with Dallas Andrews and Warren Dyson. And welcome once again to another edition of Republic Theory on Jackalope 105 FM. Dwayne, we just had a um, uh, a very good question arrive via email. And um, I think that you have roughly seven or eight buildings that exist in the world today that rival or surpass that of the World Trade Centers at, what were they, around 1,100 feet, I guess, or 1,000 feet or, or higher. Um, the biggest, I believe, being a, um, a newer structure in Dubai. Um, with respect to World Trade Center 7, or, or with the Twin Towers, rather, compared to World Trade Center 7, you have very different events going on as far as the collapse itself. And and just to, to simplify, with World Trade Center 7, you literally see the building seem to sink into the ground, just free fall, obviously implosion. But with the World Trade Centers, you have this this tremendous uh, explosive event happening you know from from one point of the building way up high all the way down and uh, the question specifically is is there any frame of reference whatsoever regarding the demolition of buildings as tall as the world trade centers well there is no demolition for buildings that tall I don't know for sure of that, but I absolutely do not know of uh, such an event. And so part of it is it's a, it's a uh, different kind of a challenge for controlled demolition experts to bring down a building of that, that height. And possibly because of its, its construction, it had these uh, primary core columns at 47 control columns in the center part of the building which bore most of the structural weight the perimeter columns bore enough weight to hold up the floors they're part of it but it really was those central core columns that was the primary structure and had all the elevators uh, within the sets of core columns That means that the demolition design would have to be taking out those core columns and pretty much all the way from the top to the bottom. And the fact that when it was all destroyed, there were no columns still standing. So that means they had to be removed and removed at at various places throughout the height of the building. Is it your understanding that um, that the World Trade Centers were in need of quite a bit of work? Um, I've heard as much as $1 billion um, worth of either renovations or improvements, asbestos removal, things of that nature. Um, it might fall into the neighborhood of speculation, but... Um, I'm sure you're aware of Larry Silverstein and the money he made off of this and his recent acquisition um, of the complex uh, just a matter of weeks or months before the events took place. And um, have you heard that as well, that they were kind of viewed as these big white elephants in Manhattan? I've heard that as well. I can't confirm any of that because it seems like there's not solid reporting that you can go to i may be wrong but i have heard that i've heard that the asbestos was a major problem and it was it would be uh, on the order of a billion dollars just to remove the asbestos so it was a major problem again that's to the best of my knowledge we had the same total length of time and it agrees with our analysis and they just kind of one final sentence saying uh, it was in agreement with their analysis so they didn't change their analysis the analysis stood by what they had all along they just made this what they consider to be a minor adjustment and broke it into three stages I will say one additional thing is they made it very difficult to find this uh, admitting of free fall it was not mentioned in their list of changes that they made between their draft report and their final report. And 
which is a big thing. It, it means that if anyone was just going to look at at what happened in the report and looked at the summary statements, they wouldn't see this very significant change. And and secondly, they did not change any of their basic assumptions of what happened. They basically said their original analysis was still good. You mentioned NIST's computer modeling uh of the Twin Towers, uh, where they modeled it up to the point of collapse, uh, and their modeling of World Trade Center 7's collapse. But has NIST ever released any of that data to a point where it could be, say, peer-reviewed? No. In fact, I'll, I'll just focus on Building 7, since that th- that's the one that they apparently did the more complete modeling. They spent uh, many years working on that. Uh, they have not provided that. They didn't provide the details in their final report. There have been Freedom of Information Act, referred to as FOIA, requests for the model and the input parameters that went into their model, and they have not responded to the FOIA requests. However, they did respond by saying it will cost 800 and some odd dollars for us to provide this data to you. And so architects and engineers for 9-11 Truth sponsored a, a call, with something they call a chip-in, for people to donate money to try to raise this 800 and some odd dollars. And so that money was raised and a check was written to NIST and, uh, and NIST has done nothing with it. So NIST is not being cooperative at all in providing this information.